girl. Can you believe that? Rhonda Romano is looking at a scrapbook she started making years ago for her daughter Megan. I really did not think she was going to be in swimming a long time. In it are newspaper articles and pictures of Megan at the pool. Over the years, she went from a kid who could swim fast to an Olympic hopeful. Her parents say she always had a competitive spirit. She had to be first. First in the car with the seatbelt on. First at the front door to open the front door. I'll take the keys. First here, first there. So we thought, wow, this child is like really wanting to do everything. When they enrolled Megan in swimming classes, they wondered if she'd be able to swim a full length of the pool. That was a big step. We, we put her in a pool and uh, 25 yards and we looked at each other like, she is not gonna get to the other side and she did. She zipped right across and we looked at each other like, okay, this might be interesting and uh, it progressed. Years of practice have paid off. Megan is a six-time Florida State swimming champion. She now swims for the University of Georgia. This year, Megan set a U.S. and NCAA record in the 200-yard freestyle at the Women's National Championships. She followed that with a second-place finish in the 100 backstroke and was a member of Georgia's title-winning 800 freestyle relay team. So where does this drive come from? <laughs> I was a pretty good athlete when I was younger. Um, not as good as she is, but I was a, a decent athlete. So uh, she gets part of it from me. I think she gets a lot of the drive from her. Megan has collected so many trophies, medals, and plaques over the years that you'll find them in pretty much every room of her parents' house, and even in places you might not expect. Despite all the accolades, her parents say Megan is humble. I mean, she would, from very little, she would hide her trophies in her swim bag and, you know, Mom, don't show that off. While trying to become an Olympian takes serious focus, out of the water, Megan is known for being a prankster. She, she really likes to, to play pranks and tricks on everybody. And all her friends in, in college, her, all her roomies, I think they all know that. <laughs> What's making up to now? Watching their daughter compete makes both parents anxious. It's nerve-wracking. <laughs> I am just a nervous wreck, I'll be honest. If I, as a mom, feel that she's very upset inside with herself, or this happened, or her toe went off the block wrong, or her goggles broke, and I know that it's very, you know, just, it hurts her, then it hurts me. This was not to be Megan's Olympic year. Despite going into the trial strong, she didn't make the team. Megan's parents say they're proud of their daughter regardless. And although she won't get an Olympic medal this year, there is something they are sure she will get. College degree. Absolutely. And she'll get it. She'll, she'll have to stay at Georgia for the extra year, and, uh, um, uh, but she'll get it. She'll get a degree.